What we're going to do now is we're going to take and once the base coat is on and set, we're going to take and, and grind that down, making sure that all the corners are smooth and straight, trimmed up, make sure there's no burrs or anything on the wall area. Make sure you can do this by either grinding uh, with off with a uh, dur rasp, a rasp, a sanding stone, a brick, anything that will grind th this down to a smooth surface. Making sure again that we have square, good to clean corners all the way around on everything that we do. This is the total prime product. What this is, primer for the base coat on the wall. What we've done is we've taken and tinted this, the total prime to a, just a little bit lighter shade than our actual finish. What this is, is this product will be spread on the wall. It seals the wall to receive the finish. Now this can either be done over the EFAS or hard coat stucco. It's recommended on some projects, although it's not required on all. It's very easily done. Again, this material can be tinted or tinted to a, uh, a color that is close to the color of the product you're going to put on the finish. It can be thinned slightly with just a small amount of water. Making sure that as you roll that across, we don't leave lap marks or any irregular marks with the prime coat. Again, making sure that we do not leave marks like this. The reason for this is where that buildup is heavy, when the finish coat goes over the top, uh, it, will, it will show just a little bit of a different texture and color. Making sure that those are completely rolled out. Again, making sure there are no roller marks or lines left in the wall. <clears throat> At this point in time, what we're going to do is we're going to take a backer rod. It's a closed cell polystyrene. What this is, is basically forms a gasket or a foam rope around the window. This is a secondary sealant. This is to be applied directly like this. Taking and starting at the top, we'll push this back in beside the window. Pushing that back in beyond that window frame, you want it back in about 3 eighths to a half of an inch. And then again, without breaking the seal, bringing that across the bottom. Again, pushing that back in about 3 eighths of an inch. And again, continuing right up the side. Right up to the very top of the window, making sure that it's in fairly even, all the way completely around the window. At this point in time, what we will do, and take and mask off, leaving the backer rod exposed and bringing the tape right to the edge of the window. Again, we've just sealed off that window so we don't get the caulking material on the window frame. Now remember on the head flashing, we did not put any of the backer rod in, nor will we seal that. We'll take care of that at a later point. At this point in time, uh, an approved sealant is required. Um, there are several different types of approved sealants to make sure that uh, that is approved by the total wall manufacturer. We have that on a display or it can be called, you can call the office or factory and we can give you exactly what the approved sealants are. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take and 
just run a sealant bead, making sure that we completely fill the entire area. or there's actual tools can be done make, making sure on a visual inspection to make sure that the caulk is completely sealed against all areas both the base coat and the wall area on the head flashing remember we've put this head flashing in we've held the styrofoam up above and beyond that about three-eighths of an inch at this point there are two options that can be done you can either silicone or uh, seal this in with a, an approved sealant and taking small tubes, 3 8 plastic tubes, insert tubes into the area for a drainage, or this area can be left open and the finish run completely back in. We do want to leave that open. If you remember correctly, the rolled on material or the, the waterproofing material was put on top of the head flashing, which was set right on top of the way any incidental moisture will come down, hit this head flashing, come out from behind the system, drip off the face of the, the head flashing. Just go back and pull this for a second.